what's up guys, it's Jordy here, back again with another Shadow Wars deck and gameplay video. Uh, in today's video, I wanted to feature Forest again. Um, my previous Forest video, I did Guardian Forest. Guardian Forest, as you know, got a little bit of a buff from the mini expansion of the Ultimate Coliseum. Um, but the legendary card that the mini expansion came out with was Phantasmal Fairy Dragon. A uh, very good card in a lot of different Forest decks at the moment. It's a 1 play point one one and it gains um, health based on one play point cards that's been destroyed this match. If at least five has been destroyed, it evolves. And so yeah, it can become a really beefy uh, ward unit. And you get a free evil that also works with buffing your union burst cards. So Phantasmal Fairy Dragon is a very good card in a deck like Control Force. Um, because you want those extra evils to ramp up your Reno, ramp up your Kokolos so that you can get those added bonus effects. Um, also some variants of Control Force are running Zeus uh, because we are like running Carbunco so you could evolve quite a few times with Control Force. And so like Zeus is a good uh, late game finisher. I opted to not run Zeus because I just hate Zeus as a card um, in this deck because there's a lot of cards that you could already brick with like you could draw your maze which is a really bad draw. So having Zeus in your deck just adds an air card that um, is a bad draw for you in most, pretty much all of the game until that one time when you need it in like 1 in 10 games. Um, so yeah, I don't play Zeus, but it is an option for some people. Um, so yeah, this, so Phantasmo Fairy Dragon, it also just because it's a 1 cost, it helps enable a lot of your combos. So it helps you get your maze active, get your area's whirlwinds bigger. So a very useful card um, in this deck. Phantasmal Fairy Dragon is also pretty good in Amata's Force, but or Aggro Force, but that's like for another video. Um, we're also running Princess Knight, um, another new card from the mini expansion. Just a very solid card because it uh, cycles through your deck a bit. And if you if you happen to evolve the Princess Knight, you could buff up your Reno, your Kokolos. Again, very good to get your Union Burst off your Reno for like some matchups like uh, Spellboy's Rune. Um, evolve sword which is very prevalent so getting your reno universe is pretty important a lot of times kukulo not so much but the health could be very helpful sometimes um so yeah overall i'd say control forest right now is a pretty solid deck in the meta if you could play it well um you should have feel feel comfortable playing a lot of matchups currently the one hard matchup I would say is Natural Dragon because they're a lot more fast now. So the only way you could go nat beat Natural Dragon is just by um, rushing out your roaches. Um, but yeah, other than that, like mid range sword, the stat says otherwise, but personally I think that this um, is favored against Evolve Sword, um, slightly favored against Babu's Rune, and what else is prevalent? Sh uh, Shadow, this deck is also pretty good against Shadow. So. If you guys are looking to play a good Forest deck, I would recommend this one. Um, if you're really good at playing Control Forest, I would say your win rate will be better than um, Guardian Forest. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already for more Shadowverse content. Um, and comment down below which is your favorite Forest deck to play right now because Control Forest, uh, Aggro, Amatas Forest, and Guardian Forest are all very good decks at the moment. Um, Oh yeah, and just as a notice, I just wanted to let you guys know that I do have merch now. So I will have the... You guys can actually just check out my merch link on thejordu.com. If you click on there, click on the picture, it'll take you to my store. So I have various uh, merch available at the moment. Um, I will have like a sale, like a 10% sale in the coming week. So look out for more information about that. Um... What else do I want to say? Yeah, that's about it. Oh, I also started streaming a little bit now. So I actually came back from California, as you guys know. So I actually have to be kind of like two weeks of self-isolation or social distancing for as much as possible within the next two weeks. Um, and I just want to do that anyways because coronavirus is pretty uh, bi right, uh, crazy right now. So yeah, i um, trying to do more YouTube content and trying to stream more. Um, I'm trying to stream in the mornings actually, so that's like around 9, uh, 10 a.m. PST, um, you can find my stream. And that's just twitch.tv slash the Jordan. Um, but yeah, so enjoy the games guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. All right, Dragon, so this is the hard matchup. Um, we're going second, I'd rather go first for just trying to spam out Roach, but basically what I want in this matchup is 
just hard going for Roach because if I do anything else I'm just going to lose. So I'm going to keep the natu nature's guidance and hopefully draw into a Roach and then we can start that going. The good thing with going second is that we can evolve Roach on 4. This isn't a very useful hand. If we do our Roach though this could be very good because we got guidance, we got barrage. He probably, oh okay, he's probably playing the dino on 3. Can't really do anything here. The, the question is if I want to play Dra Traveler's Respite right now to set up something, but it's not really doing much. I don't want to eat, I don't really want to eat two, so I, I'm considering just playing this um, Fairy Dragon here. I think it's fine. Like all the damage matters against uh, Natural Dragon. So taking two here, I don't really want. I don't have much heal. I mean, I guess I do have to travel through spite, so we could have uh, saved the fairy dragon. Uh, turn four, one, two. I have to wait on five until five. Like ideally, we draw a roach next turn. We're drawing a roach right now. The one and eleven is kind of rough. A blazing breath. A lot of damage. Thinking about using an airbound barrage, but I I don't think I can afford it. I'm gonna play one traveler's despite right now and then pass, I think. Yeah, because we can't we can't use May. So next turn we'll probably try to set up like a double May. Because we can, right? We could go Traveler's Despite. The two free trees. Um so that's three cards and then we could like fertile either and that's four and we still have three mana so we can play two maze i'm surprised he didn't use an evil there actually kokolo i wanted to use this kokolo so three four So no, I have to evolve this first so I can guarantee code this. Well actually it doesn't have ambush anymore, it already attacked, but I want to get a full board clear. But yeah, not having a roach here is pretty rough, like we have so many bounces. And with our Evo, we we could have had Roach like develop if we drew one, but I mean that's just how it is, right? We hard, we pretty much commit fully into getting the Roach. If we don't draw it, we don't draw it. Um, luckily he hasn't played a Valdain yet, so we're not taking any true damage. But I feel like a Valdain is going to come out pretty soon. And he's already like hitting trees. He's got four trees destroyed. I might actually bounce the Coco a little back um, and try to just draw more cards off of it. It kind of sucks bouncing it back though. I'd rather just try to find Roach. If we don't draw, draw it, we're just kind of dead. <laughs> I wonder if he's going to kill this, like use an Evo and kill it. Okay, so there's a Roach. Okay. It's kind of hard to get board space. I have to. I think I want to trade these maze in so I can set up board space for the roach. Um. Like use the nature's guidance and play the roach and evolve it to go over the dino.
So I think this is the most mana efficient way to get my Roach played a bunch of times with my mana this turn. And also like, I definitely want to set the Machina Tree first because it takes up more of my play points. So um, later on when I want to squeeze in Roaches is a bit easier. Um, and also this just sets up a ward in case he has like more Dark Prison Dragons. Four. Five, six. So we can get one roach. There's a ball game. Uh, next turn will be what? Turn seven? Oh, that was his turn seven. So next turn is turn eight. If he uses the Evo, he could set up the Union Burst. There's another Airbound Barrage. Is that enough? That airbound barrage top deck. Wow. <laughs> So we're able to get to turn 7 Roach, which is, I would say, kind of fast. Slightly fast above average. So, luckily he didn't get Valdain until then because we'd be dead otherwise, but... So guys, as, as I was saying, I do have merchandise now. If you go to my merchandise tab on my website, thegeordie.com, uh, and go click on the link, either the picture or the link above, uh, it will take you to my merch store. Um, I also have the link posted on the overlay here, but... Yeah, basically just got, I have a few designs, so I have like hoodies, um, sweatshirts, crewnecks, uh, t-shirts, long sleeves, tank tops, tote bags, a lot of yeah. different designs that you could choose from. This one says top deck in Japanese, top deck uh, but yeah, a lot of variations and there's a lot of different colorways too, depending on what item it is, like the hoodies, there's less colors, but if you go to t-shirts, we have, I have a lot of different colors that you could choose from. And yeah, so if you guys want to support the channel um if there's any kind of designs that you like feel free to pick up some of my merch and if you do make sure you send me a picture of it because that'd be pretty sweet and yeah enjoy the rest of the content shadow okay going second i think i i like to go second in shadow because they can't play um, um what's that guy called <laughs> one four you know what i'm talking about what they want to evolve on for can't remember the name. I haven't played Shadow in a while now, actually, since the mini expansion. Although Shadow, like, it's been picking up pace again. When the mini expansion first came out, it wasn't like super popular, but now people are starting to play it again. Um, turn one, Roach here is kind of sketchy because turn two they might have like a ghost. They might also be playing like the natural version. It has a dog. So I'll probably wait till turn 3 to play the Roach with the guard. This turn I could go Ro Roach plus Guidance. Um, but I don't think I... It's not really worth it. Like I get to use my play points. But then I kind of lose card resources. Where I might want to combo for like an Areas Whirlwind. Especially because we have triple Areas Whirlwind right now. I might use one next turn actually. Um, one of them might be useful to save for later when they play um, the Ginsetsu. So I could deal with all the boxes. Um, but right now I kind of want to... Actually, I mean this dies and then I'm evolving Roach. Yeah, I don't need to do it this turn. Um, so this turn I could go for the Roach Guidance. Roach, um, but that's really inefficient. I'd rather go Roach, Phantasmal Fairy Dragon plus the Kokolo here. Seems good. Can I cycle through my hand a bit? Oh, we're actually hitting quite a bit of uh, bounces. We might be able to get a Roach. Pretty early Roach. 
Next turn, I might have to use the Whirlwind. Um, because he got the zombie back here. This turn, the Whirlwind was awkward because of his, um, the 2-1. Uh, so yeah, just a Ceres. Not too big of a threat, actually, because we just try to OTK Shadow, so the health doesn't matter. Um, Ceres is going is a big body and is pressuring 3 damage a turn, so that is kind of scary. Um, but it's not the end of the world, especially with all these Roach bounces. I think what I'm more concerned about is him going for the Vow next turn into a turn 7 Ginsutsu. Um, I could also keep his board kind of full, where that's not too much of a problem for me anymore. Um, but I guess let's think about this turn. Like this turn, I could go Whirlwind. I could go Roach, Barrage, Roach, Whirlwind clears the board, but then I kill my Roach. Can't really do it without killing my own Roach. Yeah, I can't really. Um, could I set up a uh, May? Yeah, it's kind of awkward this turn. I don't really have time, I have to do this. I couldn't figure- there isn't any good combination where I could set up a Mei and a Roach to get a full board clear, so I'm just gonna do this. It's like meh, but... Cause I float one play point, but I got to play my Roach two more times, and actually it's almost set up. So I could go like Roach plus Guidance, play Roach, evolve it, and that evolved Roach could go face. So how- so my next turn would be like Roach? Bounce, Roach, Bounce, Roach, Bounce, Roach. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need seven mana to do all of that. So maybe uh, next turn, maybe I'm just trying to. Uh, it depends. It, it depends if he eternal vows here. If he eternal vows, I have to try to find something to do to um, be careful of Ginsetsu. He has to be thinking that the Roach might kill him next pretty soon so he I think he wants to return on Val but if his hands like kind of expensive it's not worth it valuing right now so maybe he just develops okay so he's actually going for the shooting energy so okay he's not going to be able to play against it next turn so I kind of want to just set up a board clear here and get my roach prepared I could do that right um Oh what? Okay, we drew the Roach to get Lethal, otherwise we were just going areas where we wanted to clear. I think we were winning that game anyways, but we just ruined it at Lethal, so might as well take it. <laughs> nice, that was a turn 6 Roach, that's insane.